Hey guys, this is John Hennessy from Hennessy Performance. And uh, besides uh, modifying cars at Hennessy, we also own and operate Lone Star Motorsports Park here in Sealy, Texas. Check out our drag strip, full quarter mile drag strip. We're just west of Houston. And I'll swing around here and you may be able to see our shop over yonder. That's maybe a thousand feet away where we, any given time, we're modifying 50 to 80 different vehicles. A lot of Hellcats, a lot of Raptors. Anyway, Lone Star is a place where we uh, test our cars almost on a daily basis. And it's also a drag strip that's open to the public a couple times a month. And we'll have three or four uh, fairly large uh, events a year. One big one that's coming up, uh, coming up in October is the Lone Star Motorsport or Lone Star Mopar Fest. It's put on by the local Space City LX um, club that has, you know, Hemis and Hellcats and I'm sure some demons and things of that nature. So whatever the case, I uh, wanted to share some pretty cool news with you guys and I'll jump in the, I'll jump in the, uh, the HP 1000 Hellcat real quick as we talk because it's hot and my face is probably bright red because I'm, I'm burning up. It's 100 degrees in Texas in July. So let me jump into the let me jump into the Hellcat here. Let's go for a little drive and have a little chat. We're going to talk about some pretty exciting news that uh, we just announced, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, about the Dodge Demon. And so, if you're watching this video, you're obviously an enthusiast. Uh, everybody's heard of the Dodge Demon. Incredible car. Uh, just the idea that the, no, I'm not going to do a massive burnout or make a full blast on the quarter mile. We're just going to we're just going to cruise around a little bit and talk about uh, talk about the demon and and, and what uh, what the news is all about. And I'll get just get down to the bottom line. So Dodge announces the demon several months back. They unveil it. Uh, they unveil some pretty incredible news that you know the demon is a, a car that's capable of running a 965. Uh, at 140 mile an hour in the quarter mile, which is pretty incredible. I was expecting something to run in the, you know, break maybe just under 10 seconds, but deep into the nines is certainly impressive. And so, um, you know, the announcer are gonna build about uh, 3,000 uh, uh, demons for the US and another 300 for Canada. Um, this is so cool, Pencil Proving Grounds. I'll have to show that sign a little bit later. Yeah, when you come out here to Lone Star, you'll see the cool Pinzel signage. And they, this is the Pinzel Proving Grounds because we use their uh, synthetics and uh, lubricants in our vehicles every day that we're out here testing. Anyway, that's a different video for a different day. Um, bottom line is, is that, uh, you know, everybody like me is excited about the prospect of the demon and getting a demon. Uh, but then, you know, the news comes out that, well, because it's so fast, the, the, the fine folks at the NHRA sent a letter to Chrysler saying, um, you know, congratulations on your car, but it doesn't meet our specifications. And, you know, if you want, if you've got a demon and you want, you know, somebody wants to run it in an NHRA track, they're going to have to have a parachute on the back, which is required for cars that run over 135 and a quarter and a full roll cage structure inside the car. Um, you know, talk about a party pooper. Uh, I don't know that anybody's going to want to buy a Demon and put all that stuff in there. I'm sure there'll be a few. I've owned, I personally, I had a, um, a race car that was my daily driver back in the early 90s. So I know what it's like to drive around in a car with a roll cage and a parachute. It's kind of cool, but it gets kind of annoying after a while. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of takes the, the fun out of the deal where, you know, you get excited about getting a Demon and then all of a sudden, you know, you can't go run at the drag strip. And, uh, you know, they'll say, well, you know, run the eighth of a mile or run to a thousand feet or get to the end of the track and jam on the brakes. No, that's no fun. You know, you want, you got a car that runs a number, you want everybody to see it on the scoreboard, know exactly what that car ran. And, uh, and I'm one of those guys too. So the purpose of this video is to share the news with you and the rest of the world that uh, for those that buy and own the Dodge Demon, we are going to allow them to run their cars, their demons, down our Lone Star Motorsports Park drag ship. I'm actually going to go out here on the highway for a little blast. This thing makes so much power. It does need a drag radial or it'll spin the tires at 70 or 80 down on the drag ship. So we're going to go out for a little highway blast. Um, so if you get a demon, 
and you want to be able to run it in the full quarter mile, you can come to Lone Star Motorsports Park in Sealy, Texas, about an hour west of Houston, about an hour and a half. Um, it's kind of, we're kind of in between Austin and Houston, closer to Houston. Uh, we're right on I-10. And, um, you know, we're going to come up with like a one-day driving school for the Demon. So, you know, if you've never drag raced a car, I mean, much less run a Demon, you'll need to know how to set tire pressures, how to do a burnout, how to engage launch control, how to, you know, what does a trans brake feel like on launching. Um, you know, those are important things. Those are important steps to be able to operate a Demon properly and, and, and run a proper number. Um, and I believe that once once an owner, uh, you know, goes through something like that, and we may work with, you know, somebody that's already out there, whether it's a Roy Hill or a Frank Hawley, there's some really incredible drag racing schools out there. I actually went to a Roy Hill drag racing school several years ago and learned a ton, and it's a, it's a great confidence booster and builder for being able to operate anything fast on a drag strip. And so, whatever the case, we'll have a one-day seminar, school, where you get familiar with how to run your demon down the drag strip. And after that, you can run it at any public event. Um, if you're a client, if we modify your demon, uh, we'll be having private uh, private uh, uh, track days uh, in our place. Again, maybe, you know, not maybe during the heat of the summer because it's just miserable and the cars don't go quite as fast when it's 100 degrees, but we'll do probably three or four events a year, customer events, and have fun with it. So. You know, for whatever that's worth, we wanted to share that with uh, with the enthusiast community, with, uh, you know, whether you're thinking about buying a Demon or not, you know. Um, so, again, this whole thing of, you know, the NHRA has banned the Demon, and you can't run it down the drag strip without all the parachutes and, and roll cages and all that stuff. We basically, uh, we're setting the Demon free. So, uh, um, that's the big news, and uh, while we're out here, on this nice highway, and we're uh, driving a uh, Hellcat uh, Challenger with the automatic transmission. Might make it just a little blast. Uh, this is a, obviously a, a different video for a different day. Um, my video guy is actually on vacation with his family this week, so I'm in do it do it myself mode. And uh, we've got a little bit of traffic to contend, to contend with here, but basically, uh, when we'll, again, we'll get a lot more into the details on this specific car. What's special about this car? Well, while we're on the subject of the Demon, I'll predict that our HP 1000 Hellcat Challenger non-Demon from a roll against the Demon will beat the Demon, and I don't think it'll just beat it. I think it'll crush it. This car is so ridiculously fast and fun to drive. Um, it's something we've been working on for a while. Uh, the, the tuning on the on the transmissions has been a little bit more of a challenge on these cars, but it's done. We put probably 600 test miles on this particular car, and it runs perfect. It runs a 93 octane pump gas. You don't have to have a special ECU. You don't have to have race gas. We can do a race gas tune that's what you want but if you want the warranty we offer a warranty with a package um, a thousand plus horsepower we're talking you know depending on the tune and the day 850 to 900 horsepower at the rear wheels through the automatic transmission and that's with the big 4.5 liter supercharger system intake injectors fuel system headers and so forth and our HP package uh, the HP 1000 package is available now we this is I think the third one that we built got maybe seven or eight others in the in the in the in the production queue and depending on the timing of, uh, of your build you know it's typically eight to twelve week turnaround time on the on the on the vehicle but I can turn around here and it make a little blast on the way back to the shop. But whatever the case this car is a lot of fun and uh, it's funny I uh, I've been looking for an opportunity to talk about uh, the Hellcat. I put out a, a test drive video of another one of our I think it was an 850 horsepower Hellcat that we built not long ago, and got a nice email from a friend of mine at, at Dodge, who works there, and uh, you know his name, but I'm not going to say it. Um, but anyway, he says, "Hey, great video, but uh, you know, you said that our interiors are cheap," and I'm like, "You know, they they kind of are," and but I I, need, I actually need to take that back. So I'm sitting in the I'm sitting in this Hellcat right now. The interior is not cheap. 
the dash is very nice the display the instrument panel is huge you got all the information there it's a very comfortable car to drive in um, the panel gaps uh, there's no rattles this is not a cheap interior what I meant to say was I would probably like to have maybe a little different selection like a lot of these interiors have kind of this crushed velvet 1970s um, you know couch type material on the seats and I'd like something a little more supple like a you know a really high le you know higher grade like leather you know my only comment is is, is if it'd be possible for the guys at Dodge to maybe make the help consider making the Hellcat interiors maybe a little bit more like the you know like the Jeep Grand Cherokee interiors I think are just wonderful so the Hellcat interior is not is not cheap uh, it's a very nice interior I just would like a, maybe a little bit higher grade material on the seats that's it all right here we go Rock and roll. oh yeah tell you how fast it was. I think the speed limit is 75, so we might have been doing 80. I don't know, give or take 80 miles an hour. Um, whatever the case, you get a demon, come to Lone Star Motorsports Park. The demon has been set free, and uh, if you're not able to get a demon and you got a Hellcat, then we can build a car faster than the demon. And guess what? We'll build some demons that are faster than stock demons, too, but whatever the case, whatever... Uh, Whatever your weapon of choice, give us a holler if we can help. And uh, if you want to see demons run in the full quarter mile, come to Lone Star Motorsports Park. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun.